Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom, 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 bam, 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 bam. Review stuff. Boom, boom, bam, bam. And I am back for another review video. And today I am reviewing an ice cream treat. Um, I actually just standing right here uh, filmed a Peter Does Stuff video where I did a little cooking. I made an ice cream treat at homemade. I made a, well, not really homemade because I bought the ice cream and then I bought the other accoutrements. Um, but I did a little ice cream. I don't know if I would call it an ice cream sundae necessarily. But go watch my Peter Does Stuff video because I was mightily impressed um, with how good it ended up being. So uh, it was kind of a, kind of a review video, but not really because it was like a cooking video. <laughs> If you want to see me cooking in my element, because you know, I am the grand chef of the world, and I love to cook. Not! Um, I love to cook so much. I really do. I'm like the gr greatest chef in the entire world. So anyway, um, basically for me, like scooping some ice cream in and then putting some accoutrements on top of the ice cream is about as deep as I get. Um, or we use the microwave. Okay, so... Today I am going to review, I actually thought I was going to start, well I have four different kinds of ice cream treats other than the uh, container of ice cream that I bought for the other video. So I have four ice cream treats left, okay? And the ones that I have still are the Haagen-Dazs Butter Cookie Cone Strawberries. Ugh! These are gross, these are not worth it, okay? But I'm not going to review those today because I already reviewed those in another video. And then I have the Johnny Pop. Um, chocolate dip strawberries, which I showed in a Peter Dusta video that I bought. I've had one of these. I think I reviewed these. I didn't remember that I had bought these like a year ago and reviewed them in a video. Um, but apparently I did. Um, I'm not going to review them again since I did it a year ago. I don't remember what I said a year ago, but I will tell you that I had one of these the other night. They're rather plain tasting, but they do taste like a chocolate covered strawberry, but frozen. And, um, but they're like a very simple, very natural, fl it, it, it tastes like if you, I mean, really just like basic chocolate covered strawberry, but frozen is what it tastes like. They're very good. And, um, I think that they're supposed to be a little bit healthier for you. They're 130 calories and 5 grams of, uh, or 8 grams of fat, 14 grams of carbs, and less than 1 gram of protein. How many sugars do they have? 12 grams of sugar. People ask me about sodium. There are 10 grams of sodium in here. So, but I have to tell you, I'm impressed with these. I would definitely buy these again, these Johnny Pops. I like them. Okay, so that leads me to the other two things that I have. And what I have is the Kit Kat ice cream bars that have the chocolate in the middle, okay? Which I'm really excited about because y'all know I love the Kit Kats. I do, okay? So I love the Kit Kats. Um, and then I also bought <laughs> these Strawberry Shortcut Shop strawberry shortcut. The shortcut to the strawberry. The strawberry shortcake good humor bars, okay? When I was a little kid, I used to love the strawberry shortcake bars. I don't remember what brand, probably none of my mom. They were probably a generic brand from the grocery store. But um, I saw these at the grocery store when my cousin Caroline and I went, and so I wanted to buy them again and try them, and I was like, oh, those kind of remind me of being a kid in the summer, so I want to get those again. So I got those. So I was going to do the Kit Kat review today, but I think I'm going to make y'all wait. Now, I have to tell you, there's four that come in here, and there's only two cones left because I've had two. So I am... I've been doing my research. I'm very prepared. <laughs> and um, there are six that come in these. I think I've only had one so far. Let me look and see. Well, they're stacked on top of each other. So one, two, three, four, five. So yes. So I am going to review the strawberry shortcake uh, bar. So let's do a little review or let's do a little thumbnail. Hold on a second. I'm trying to do different thumbnails and not do the, <laughs> I'm trying to look. Somebody said I should wink. I shared this in my last video. I can't wink to save my life. Okay. <laughs> I've never been able to wink. I couldn't whistle until I came out, or I couldn't snap, I still can't whistle. <laughs> I can't whistle and I can't wink, but I couldn't snap my finger, true story, until I came out. And then as soon as I came out, I could start snapping my finger, Z formation. So anyway, do you remember that from back in the day? So anyway, I don't know if that's problematic and we're not supposed to say that anymore. I am totally unaware of that. I don't know. I'm just telling you that right now. That's what we did back in the day. So, I'm going to review these strawberry shortcake bars right here. Like, let's uh, let's do a, a thumbnail. Are you ready? Hold on a second. <laughs> People say I should look real surprised when I'm looking. <gasps> okay, there we go. So, let's look at the nutritional values of these. Probably not real nutritional. One bar is 160 calories. Not horrible. Total fat, 9. 
Um, hold on a second. Cholesterol zero, sodium 75 milligrams, total carbs 19 grams, total sugars uh, nine, dietary fiber zero, and one gram of protein. Okay, so they're, I mean, they're okay. They're on average on par with the rest of them. So, and this is what it says on the back of here. The brand is Good Humor. And um, it says, do you hear the ice cream truck? For over 100 years, the Good Humor truck has been delivering the fun and magic that you grew to love and haven't outgrown. Today, you and your family can enjoy our great tasting range of treats from the comfort of your home. I don't know why. I'm not really thinking of the ice cream man back in the day, which I think gets a bad rap in all honesty. But do you remember the Schwann man? Oh my God! My neighbors all had the Schwann man come and bring the, the Mike Sells potato chips and the chocolate chip cookies and the big things of ice cream. And I always wanted my mom to order from the Schwann man so we could have him deliver milk and stuff to our house and the big chips. I always wanted the big thing of the Mike Sells potato chips and the, uh, the chocolate chip cookies. My mom was like, no, that's too expensive. We're not doing that. <laughs> So, we didn't get to have a Schwann man. Is the Schwann man even still around anymore? I think he is. I think somebody in a video that I did not too long ago told me that the Schwann man is still around. So, good luck to you, Schwann man. Okay, so here is the uh, Good Humor Strawberry. I had to look at the box because I kind of forgot for a second what it was called. The Good Humor Strawberry Shortcake Bar. Here's what it looks like. <laughs> Like a pretty typical ice cream bar for you. It's got all the strawberry accoutrements. That's my new word. It's got all the strawberry accoutrements and the, the, the strawberry shortcake accoutrements on the outside. Now, I've already had one of these, and it was really good. So, I'm just going to tell you this. this is, I wouldn't say it's a 10 out of 10. I'm trying to do things 10 out of 10 now because my cousin, she and her boss both think I need to do things 10 out of 10 instead of 5 out of 5. So, I'm going to say I would probably give this... It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't anything to rave about. I think, you know, like, <laughs> eat, sleep, rave, repeat. It wasn't anything about all that. So I would probably give this a 7, and that's kind of being generous, okay? I mean, it was just okay. But it was nice to have on the front porch while I was watching my TV shows, The Lincoln Lawyer. All right. Mmm. Don't y'all love ice cream in the summer? What is it about ice cream in the summer? It's just so fantastic. So I don't know if you can see, but it's got like the strawberry and the shortcake and stuff inside. I mean, it does taste like strawberry shortcake. Maybe. Hold on a second. No, this is pretty rich. I'm going to actually change my rating. I know. Surprise. 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 I'm going to change my rating. And I'm actually going to change it from a 7 to an 8.5. I think they're pretty good, honestly. Yeah. They taste a lot like strawberry shortcake, which they should because they're called strawberry shortcake, right? Duh. I'm not going to eat the whole thing. Anyway. Well, I might. I got it right here in my ice cream cut from my last video. I might mush it all together. Oh my God, that might be so good. I should make that video right now for tomorrow, but I'm not going to. But anyway, I'm going to mush it all together and make kind of like an ice cream sandwich, a strawberry shortcake and ice cream sandwich from my other one with the accoutrements. Yeah, I'm going to give that an 8.5. That's good. It's better than what I remember from the other night. So anyway, if you've tried it, let me know what you think. Good humor. I, yeah, that was pretty good. Eight, I'm going to even say 8.7. I'm pretty impressed with that. And I don't think they were that expensive. I think they were like $5.49 or something. I read it the other day on my grocery store haul, but on my Peter Dustoff channel. So anyway, let me know what your let me know what your favorite ice cream treat is in the comment section below. Do you like push-ups? Do you like bomb pops? What do you like? Put it in the comment section below. And I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.